Hello everyone! And today we're doing the Toxic Crate Historian Achievement, but first you need to unlock the Toxic Crate Transcriber Achievement found in the Living World Season 1 Tower of Nightmares episode. To get started, we are in Kessex Hill, and we're gonna head north from Overlord's Waypoint. All you need to do to unlock this first achievement is speak with Arcanus Dolja. Knowledge is the greatest treasure. How can I help? And I'll take one of those transcribers. That's it for the pre-achievement, and now we are moving on to the Toxic Crate Historian. No mounts are needed, but you may see me use one to get somewhere quicker. And I'll have timestamps below in case you'd like to skip around along the way. Our first one is in Kessex Hills, and we're heading southwest from Viathan Waypoint. Our second one, we are still in Kessex Hills, and we're heading from Viathan Waypoint, and we need to go up and around to get into the area that we need to go into. So we'll be following this path and then going through to here. If that made no sense, that's fine. I'm going to show you. So right around here, we can start heading underwater. And we'll be heading into this cavern. If you need the Crate Bane achievement, you'll find one of the three Crate Witches. Hanging out right there, that's the champion. For our third one, we are still in Kessex Hills and still heading from the Viathan Waypoint. And we'll be heading south and then going a little east. For our fourth one, we are still in Kessex Hills, and this time from the Over Lake Haven Waypoint, heading west. And this is our last one for Kessex Hills. Moving on to Caledon Forest. We're going to be heading southeast from Crate Bane Haven Waypoint. Our next one in Kaladin Forest will be heading north from Sparin's Waypoint. Next, we're in Gandarian Fields, and we'll be heading southeast from Lion Bridge Waypoint. Ah! 
Also in Gendarian Fields, we will be heading east from Blood Hill Waypoint, and this one's actually above ground. Still in Gandarian Fields, we will be heading southeast from Bridgerton Waypoint. And for our last one in Gandarian Fields, we will be heading south from Almutin Waypoint. We're now in Blood Tide Coast and we'll be heading west from Sorrowful Waypoint. Still in Blood Tide Coast, we'll be heading south from Laughing Gull Waypoint. And also in Blood Tide Coast, we will be heading north from Cassavel Waypoint but we'll actually be entering in deeper into a cavern. So here's our waypoint, and we'll be going straight down. And our last one in Blood Tide Coast, we'll be heading southeast from Morningfall Waypoint. You can head from the Castleville Waypoint that we were just at, but it does require you to get out of that underground cavern. And no sky scale needed, I'm just using it to kind of get there a little quicker. Back it up a bit. We are now in Sparkfly Fen and we'll be heading west from Mirror Waypoint. Also in Sparkfly Fen, we are heading southeast from a Four Vars Waypoint. Huh? 
Still in Sparkfly Fen, we will be heading north from Brulunu Waypoint, assuming I pronounced that correctly. And our last one in Sparkfly Fen, we will be heading southwest from Brulunu Waypoint. Heading over to Timberline Falls, we have two that are fairly close to each other, but I'll do them one at a time. Our first one, we're heading southeast from Nanmu Waypoint. And our second and last one in Timberline Falls, again southeast from Nanmu Waypoint, and we'll be actually heading up in the tower, and this kind of is approximately the route you'll be taking up the tower. Extremely accurate. So the crate are fairly annoying and spawn back quite quickly, but I'll run through this as quickly as I can. I'm fast as the wind. And just up here is our shard. There's also some diving goggles if you continue to go straight up. <laughs> heading over to Mount Maelstrom. We'll be heading southeast from Oxbow Isle Waypoint. Still in Mount Maelstrom, we'll be heading northeast from Irwin Isle Waypoint. So you can hop the fence right over here, and we're actually going to be heading up the tower. Still in Mount Maelstrom, we will be heading east from Evernan Waypoint. Alternatively, you can take Irwin Isle Waypoint and head around the island. And if you don't have a mount, you're going to have to kind of travel down the road a little bit.
and still in Mount Maelstrom. This is our very, very last one. We will be heading west from Old Sledge Site Waypoint. And here is our last shard. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that was helpful. And I don't know, maybe see you around.